Fernand Drago has been gaining a lot of popularity on TikTok with millions of views. Mugs this, mugs that. Another living, breathing example of pretty privilege. Also a perfect example of ideal masculine ratios with aggressive contours resulting in a funny look that resembles the Giga Chad meme. So let's put him through the ideal ratios test, get to understand his facial harmony. In Sea of Hernan is worth the hype and deserves to be called a PSL slayer as well. These rating videos usually split into two to three main parts. The first will be the introduction and the site profile analysis, the second the frontal profile analysis and the thirds will talk about the results. If you want to support the channel and get your face evaluated by me with personalized look max and advice, link will be down in the description. If you want to read more about topics like these, you can check out my blog at nearfacerating.com. Without further ado, let's get this video started. So, since most of my followers are usually familiar with these types of videos, I'm gonna go quickly over this. The pictures will be selected to avoid lens distortions for accurate measurements. And since Hernan is such a specimen, even at the age of 48, he's still considered somewhat in his prime. So age is not really a factor. Let's get to know him. Hernan Esteban Drago, born in Florida, Vincent Lopez, born in Cyrus, May 17 of 1975. He's an Argentinian model and host, mainly recognized by his advertising campaigns for the brands such as Vermont and Hugo Boss. For being a co-host of the program El Creative Show along with Juan Cujes and for being a recurring guest on the program Welcome Abroad. So starting with the side profile, I'm working with these two pictures which I'll switch with depending on what I need. The remus is long in full, playing part in his wide jaw and aggressive gonio angle, but not visible. This is only because of lighting, because in other side profile pictures is clearly visible. The gonio angle is very aggressive, but still an ideal range of 110. The man looks like a square. The mandible is as straight as an arrow with a visible body and the chin of course meets the nasion which is indicative of good chin projection. Here we're gonna add a ratio we don't usually measure, the cervicomental angle and his is in the ideal range of 105 degrees. The nasio labial angle is surprisingly soft in such a masculine face around 105 degrees. For a man the ideal range is in between 90 to 95 but this is countered by a straight nose adding balance to the feminine ratio. The maxilla is forwardly grown and the cheekbones look higher set even from the side profile picture. They stick out like road bumps, which is indicative of horizontal growth. They sit closer to the eyes and far from the gonion. The eyes are very deep set with a strong brow ridge protrusion. So the side profile is basically perfect, except for the nasio labial angle, but that's balanced by the nose shape. If I were to put a percentage on its perfection, it would be around 98%. So the frontal profile for the mid-face ratio, surprise surprise, is actually average around 0.93. Not a flaw, just an average ratio, but his face still looks short and compact. Why is that? Well, my dear viewers, that's because of a high FWHR or facial weight to height ratio of 1.96, very compact, aggressive and ideal. Also, another indication of a short masculine and ideal face is the lower to full face ratio which stands at around 0.64. The nose width to face width ratio clocks at 3.75, which is ideal, and the nose size is ideal, masculine, but not big. The mouth to nose width ratio is ideal at 1.48. The lower to upper lip ratio is ideal around 1.6. So the features in the mid face all harmonize with each other. Because the cheekbones, like I explained earlier, are horizontally grown, and Drago is very lean, you can see hollow cheekbones and a visible OG line curve which is always a plus in my book. The bigonial width by zygomatic width comes at around 1.2, which is good, it falls within the 80-90% to range. The chin to film ratio is strong and ideal, around 1-2.3. to The gonians are outwardly grown, making the jaw look angular or squarish. Also the bigonial width is very good, which basically means a very wide jaw with good symmetry. The eye area is perfect, for the eye separation ratio it's ideal, around 0.45 with hooded hunter eyes with a passive cantal chilt, downturned medial canthus, a very compact eye shape, and light colored eyes are the icing on top of the cake. The eyebrows are full and elongated, straight with a passive chilt, and they sit close to the eyes, all perfect, so the eye area is a 10 out of 10. The equal thirds of the face is what I considered ideal for a man. The upper and middle thirds are equal, and the lower third is the largest, as it should be for a man. The jaw should be the most dominant. Frontal profile is like 99%, no flaws of course, I'm not counting in skin, skull shape or neck, even though most of these are ideal. And as for the skin, keep in mind he is still in his late 40s. So in conclusion you have a face with mostly aggressive ideal male features and ratios broken with some softer ones that are necessary to make him look more human. Those beings the softer mid face ratio and nasio labial angle. So based purely on ratios of attractiveness he will score very high at 98 to 99%. But what do you guys think about all of this? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section.
that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it a like and subscribe will be highly appreciated and like usual catch you guys in the next one